Hi everybody, it's Tuesday. Time for the video, get ready. Well, all of a sudden we're inside now. Um, just got hit with a downpour and it's raining like crazy outside, so I had to move inside. Um, Today I just want to talk about something that I've been remembering in the past few days. It just comes back to mind. And it's um, something Jesus said in a prayer. And uh, um, it bears repeating. Um, I've talked about this before, but it does bear repeating. Um, can't hear it enough. And if you're new to the Gospel Revolution, it's, this is a good one for you to hear first. Um, and it's about the word all, and that all really does mean all. And in a prayer that's in John chapter 17, Jesus starts out his prayer like this. I'm going to read you the first part. It said, says, These words spake Jesus, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. That word all should stand out. And then you should be able to finish concentrating on what he said right after that. He says, as thou hast given him, meaning Jesus, power over all flesh, everybody, that he, Jesus, should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. How many has that he given him? All flesh. He gave him everybody. So who did Jesus give eternal life to? As many as God gave him. All. See, Paul also confirmed this. He also said that all were dead in Adam. And all are made alive in Jesus Christ. All really does mean all. Um, and that is part of the reason, not all of the reason, that is a big fundamental reason why we preach this gospel. But this gospel doesn't just rely on those verses. It's, it's in there. And um, it's good news. It's revolutionary to most, but have a revolutionary week.